Hey there, my gorgeous friends on the internet. You know what? You look magical today, and that's why we should do a magic trick. So let's take out one card from this blue deck of cards. This one, perfect. Remember that card, okay? You got it, you got it, perfect. Now take a look, it's blue. But if I snap my finger, one card magically changes its color. It should. This one, take a look. The only card in the entire deck changed color. Do you still remember your card? Hopefully you do because this one card is the Ace of Hearts. Take a look, that's very cool. So let's take this Ace of Hearts, I'm gonna put it in my mouth. Yeah. And now let's do it again. Mm. Mm -mm. It's still blue, it's still blue. Mm. Well, that didn't work, but we still have one red card here and it changed. Every once in a while I see these videos pop up in my recommendations and I just think to myself, where have we gone wrong? You know those videos that tell you if you can learn programming in three months, in one year, can you learn JavaScript in two seconds divided by math.py? No, you cannot. Haven't you learned anything in preschool? Damn it, Susie, what are you teaching these kids? And the funny thing is, this seems to mostly happen with programming related things. Have you ever seen Billy questioning his soccer skills every two weeks on Reddit? No, Billy just plays soccer and he gets better at it. So you should be like Billy. Have you ever seen Einstein questioning his physics skills? Hey guys, when am I gonna get good at this physics thing? No, Einstein was busy inventing space and E equals MC hammer or something. You know when we were kids and our mothers would tell us how special we are, even though we were just like running around and eating dirt. That kind of has some truth to it. We are special in our own way and everybody has a tendency to pick up different things at different speeds. So I might have an easier time understanding code while you might have an easier time learning how to draw. Now, even though I might not be good at one certain thing, doesn't mean that I cannot learn it. Everybody can learn it, we're all human, okay? It just might take a different amount of time for me to learn something that you might learn. And people usually use the word talent here, which I believe is absolute bull Talent is not a real thing. It's just people that have a knack for certain things and they pick it up easier and they just keep practicing. That's the difference. People with talent usually spend more time doing it because they have, again, they have that knack for it. So they know how to kind of do it and they don't get demotivated while somebody that doesn't have a knack for it has a tendency to quit easier. So rather than justifying yourself that, hey, I cannot do this and these people are talented, no, please don't do that. Keep practicing, do whatever you want to do, put your mindset to it and you can get to their level and then you're going to see that, hey, they're not talented, they just work really hard for it. And this is why I dislike this question so much. Can I learn X thing in this amount of time? It's because it gives people this unnecessary time expectancy on when they should get good. It really just invokes unnecessary stress and anxiousness for no reason. But Ed, I've been studying JavaScript for six months and this article on Medium told me that in six more months I should become a pro-level JavaScript developer. Don't listen to those people. Those, <laughs> those people don't even code. Joking. I love articles. Some of them. Not really. So here's the only thing that matters. You're a human being. We're all human being. And if you put your mind to something, you can learn it. Whatever that might be, if you think it requires talent, that's not true. You can do it. Everybody learned in some shape or form. So put your mind to it, practice, and whatever that might be, programming, design, or learning how to play the xylophone, and you know what? I think it's a good idea to keep track of what you've been doing like every day or whenever you're doing something. So that way you can look back like a year from now on and see where you were at that moment. And that's when you're going to see that. Oh my God, that looked like trash. Look where I'm now. I can do a CSS animation. And back there, I could only do inputs in HTML. But please, if there's one thing I want you to take away from this video is don't get approval on your progression from random people on the internet. Get that approval from practice and commitment. There we go. That's kind of what I wanted to discuss today. All the other videos related to this topic, I expect them to be taken down in 24 hours. So that's your notice. All the other YouTube channels out there, please take your <laughs> videos down. Thank you everybody so much again for being here with me and watching these episodes. And we are getting close. 
I'm watching my my clock here and it says that we're getting close to 100,000 subscribers, which is really crazy. What have we done? Yo, this is unbelievable. T just think about it. In January, this year in January, we were at 500 subs. 500 of you gorgeous friends on the internet were here supporting me and now you multiplied like the ants in my yard, which is crazy. So thank you so, so much for being here and remember, Learn to play the xylophone. <laughs>